it's time to did it did 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 record a video that doesn't really that was it was better in my head. The Rubik's Cubed. I literally can't tell what you're saying in the beginning of your videos. Hi, it's Matt Mac from the Rubik's Cubed. Hi, it's Matt Mac from the Rubik's Cubed. Hi, it's Adam back from the Rubik's Cubed. And today I have an unboxing from the cubicle. A big thank you to Phil and Jules and uh, everybody over at the cubicle for sending me this package. As some of you might know, I am headed to both Worlds and Nats this year. I'm very excited. Basically, um, long story short, United overbooked a flight, and so I received a flight voucher. That flight voucher is the only reason why I can afford to go to Australia this summer. So United is sponsoring my trip to Worlds, basically. And because I'm going to both Worlds and Nationals, I thought it would only be right to do sort of a little bit of a main refresh. Most of my cubes are pretty good, but there are a couple that definitely need refreshes. Specifically my 2x2, two two, I still use a Tang Po. And my Skube, I use a Wingy Skube, but I just dropped something. But I'm using a Wingy Skube, which is still the best, but the stickers were a color scheme that I cannot use because the green was too light and I just sort of ignored it for the longest time. But I finally got some good stickers that I can actually recognize the green on, so hopefully that should improve my times a bit. And I also decided to try out the uh, Ganex because I have tried Derpy's Ganex and uh, and I think a couple others, and I really liked them actually, even though I'm not typically a Gan fan. So um, I decided to try that out as well. So I'm really excited to take a look, hopefully get a couple of new mains out of this. So uh, let's bust into it. All right, first thing we see here is a Valk box. Excellent. As you guys can tell, the 2x2 I decided to go with was the Valk 2x2. I have tried that at a few comps and I liked it very much. Over here, it appears we have a Wingy. And finally here, we have a Gan box with a stand, a couple stands. Great. Let's take a look at the cubes. I would say in order of least to most interest, maybe. So let's do it like this. So, wingy first. I know what to expect for this wingy. It's just supposed to be a um, sticker upgrade for me. So, let's take a look. Always nice to receive an extra box. Um, not the plastic boxes. I'm a fan of the paper boxes. That's what I was commenting on. Fantastic. It doesn't close. Get PB's quick and extra cross, all with finesse, got extra sauce, plus new vids on YouTube too. Time to talk about Valk 2 2 a Here we have the Wingy. Oh, that's interesting. So their logo here is actually on a sticker, not on like something transparent where it normally is. That is perfectly fine. I'm going to replace it with my own logo, I think. It is really nice to see my dark green on a skube. Uh, let's go. Oop, oop. Okay. I'm definitely at a bit of an awkward angle to be doing skew right now. And I mean, skew is pretty awkward in and of itself, but it does feel exactly as I expected it to. It feels just like my current main. So that is a great sign. Yeah, so um, I'm very pleased with this. I made a bit of a mistake in that I thought that my current main wasn't magnetic, but I think all the wingies are magnetic and I was just being dumb, so I got a whole new wingy when I really could have just asked for the stickers, but um, that's perfectly fine. This one's also set up by them, so I'm sure that it'll be better in the long run once I break it in a bit more. Let's bust into the two by two over here. I am super excited because I this looks like a magnetic box, and you guys know how, uh, oh. Well, uh, I'm no longer excited for this cube because it wasn't a magnetic box. I I'm just kidding, but, um, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. This is a really, really fancy. Okay. It feels really nice. Wow. Um, the lid's already sort of coming off. Let's uh, toss aside our embossed silver matte black box. <laughs> I am excited to see what trading cards I get. Do you get trading cards with two by twos? A cleaning pad. Interesting. That is quite interesting. They got like a whole bunch. I mean, I'm, I'm sure everybody gets mats because it's a vault cube. Um, not sure what you're going to do with those, but <laughs> all right. The only part that matters. Um, some springs, maybe for a hardware swap. I don't think that will be necessary. This is 
This is really a dope case, though. I actually am a fan of this. It clicks into place very nicely. It actually works. So um, that's cool. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah. That is very nice. The thing I like about this one is that it is super stable. Like the Tangpo is fast, but it lacks a bit of stability. This one has no lack of stability at all. It is incredibly stable. It sacrifices a bit of speed, but I think that is a good sacrifice to make. I messed that up. I'm excellent at 2x2, two two, I know. Yeah, I'm getting just like absolutely no lockups on this. And it's not slow by any definition. I mean, certainly not near uncontrollable fast like the Tangpo was. And I, I sort of liked that in a 2x2, two two, to be honest. But like I said, I would give that up any day of the week to have additional stability because that was my biggest issue with the Tangpo. You know, one lockup and a 2x2 two two solve is completely ruined. So... That is very good. Um, I am excellent at 2x2. Two two. <laughs> yeah, I, I am actually incredibly pleased with that. This is instantly out of the box and you main. Should help me a bit as I go inch closer to sub 5. I'm like a 6 second average right now. So sub 5 is in within reach. I do have averages where I get consistent low 5s or mid 5s. So I'm almost there. I just... I probably have to put in some more reps because I don't practice all that much and then I'll be there. But um, yeah, this will certainly help. All right. And now to the main event. So I left left this for last because this is the big question mark. I currently use a GTS 2 and I like it very, very much. But there are some cubes out there like the WR and um, the GANX that definitely are contested as the top cube on the market and some people say they're better than the GTS 2 so this has main potential if I'm being honest and my last unboxing was of the maple cube which was the GTS 3 WR the WR cube and the only thing holding me back from using that one more is just the sticker shades and this one has my shades so there's some potential here um, this is very interesting. I've never seen a card like this. This is literally like a credit card. I love collecting cards, so it's great. <laughs> I'll, I'll put them on a shelf and I'll never look at them again. Of course, we have a box of accessories because GAN is the apple of cubing and they sell a premium product. So there must be additional add-ons that look super fancy and come packaged really well. There we go. Yep. So this is the GES nut system right here, where you can change compression. Definitely one of the better systems out there. Um, though it is arguable that the GTS-3 has a better system because it has nine notches and this is just a replacement set of three, although you can opt for a bunch more, but these are the three most popular ones as far as my understanding goes. And then we have a magnet replacement kit with three different magnets. So uh, these are no magnets. And then we have um, different strengths with these two. And then there's probably a, a third magnet strength that's currently loaded in here. And so I'm sure you guys know this already, but they're just in, in the edges. And all you do is you just push this through and pop out the other one. And that is a, a great system for customization. Of course, it's, it's, ex it's discrete. It's not continuous. You know, you could choose, you know, one, two, three, but you can't go between those magnet strengths because they're just physical replacements. Um, but you know, we're not quite there in cubing for continuous customization. So maybe some point in the future though, just a thought. Let's get into the important part. Ooh, a latch. Fancy. The fanciness of the boxes continue. There we go. Let's try this bad boy out. Oh man. The feeling of this puzzle is just really unlike the majority of popular puzzles on the market right now, to be honest. It's it's quieter, which is something previous GAM puzzles sometimes had. I remember I used to use a 
it's like a 356 air or something like that in in school when I you know when I had continuous class in high school because it was so much quieter than any other puzzle um, it was perfect for that and this sort of reminds me of that it's got a muted feeling but it's still like really crispy you can just hear that compared to a lot of what we have now which is fast and clickier especially with magnets stuff is clickier but um all right those m those m slices are a bit weird i'm gonna have to get used to that but um yeah i'm i'm just generally impressed with this feeling it's getting a bit tight there but oh the reverse cutting is amazing the stability just feels really great too and that's just something gan cubes don't haven't seemed to have like ever especially recently um, that's my main issue with GAN puzzles usually. So, is this a new main? Definitely not out of the box, but it certainly has potential to be. I'm going to be uh, solving on it a bunch and trying it out and breaking it in and see how it does compared to my GTS 2. Um, I doubt immediately I'll show any improvements because, you know, with through Bethrys nowadays, their hardware is not going to do anything off the bat immediately. It just has to do with how you resonate with the feel. So if this turns out to be something that I can turn better on, more accurately on, lock up less on, then it will be my new main. If not, it is certainly a very, very solid option as a backup or something I can go to in the future if I just feel like turning on something that feels like this or turning on something that's a bit quieter. So a big thank you once again to the Cubicle for sending me these three puzzles. I am really excited for Nats and Worlds, and if you are going, I will see you guys there. Um, hopefully these should help me out a little bit in achieving a few PRs, but as per usual, not really my goal. I'm just going there to enjoy myself and meet new people and hang out with people I already know. If you're there and you see me, keep that in mind. Don't feel bad to come up and say hi. You're not bothering me. Don't worry. That's why I'm there. So um, hopefully I'll see you guys there. That's about it for this one. Thank you for watching.